I just wanted to tell each one of you how much Grandpa and I love you. Each one of you has a very special place of your own in our hearts. And we just love you and cherish all the memories with each one of you. They've always been so special. And as you know, I don't have a lot of time left here. And I will certainly miss the family gathering. But the Bible says to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And that's far better. And I will miss my sweet Frank so much and all of you. But I did want to tell you that life is really short. From where you're sitting, you think, oh, I've got forever. And I just want to implore each one of you to live your lives not for yourselves. Don't be the me generation. Don't live for the things that are so vain. I have to have this, I have to have that. It's the lust of the eyes and the pride of the flesh. And all of that's going to pass away. And when you go to heaven, you won't have any pockets. And so live your life for others, for God first, others second, and yourselves last. And you know the saying we have up in our home says, home is where each lives for the other and all live for God. And for you that are newly married, put God first in your life and love Jesus best. And then live your life for the other person. That is true happiness. And don't be swallowed up by the culture of this world. It's all going to pass away. And as you know, Jesus is going to come back soon. And you've heard that a long time. But if you really study the world events, it is not that far off. And so I implore each one of you to live your life for Christ because only one thing uh, uh, is left, and that's only what you've done for Christ. And so I just want you to take this to heart and remember that I love all of you so much. And I look forward to seeing all of you with the Lord someday. But for you young people, live for Christ. Don't get lost. Just follow the shepherd. And I want to uh, call to him that I'm teaching Sadie and Grace. Uh, and I'm going to hurry. Uh, but it helped me when I was a teenager to live the right kind of life. And it kept me from bad friends and evil ways. And it's, I was a wandering sheep. I did not love my fold. I did not love my shepherd's voice. I would not be controlled. I was a wayward child. I did not love my home. I did not love my father's voice. I loved a far too roam. The shepherd sought his sheep. The father sought his child. They followed me o'er vale and hill, o'er deserts waste and wild. They found me nigh to death, banished and bained, pained and lone. They bound me with the bands of love. They saved the wandering one. Jesus my shepherd is, tis he that loved my soul. Tis he that washed me in his blood. Tis he that made me whole. O oh, hail, Redeemer, hail. All praise and glory to you for now and all eternity. And so remember these words and don't ever leave the shepherd who's done so much to redeem you. And I love all of you so much. <laughs>